hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial this is the fourth part in the visual basic desktop application designing series in the first part we covered the basics so do watch that tutorial while in the second part we design an application to receive data from the Arduino which was a very basic application it and it was only receiving a text message from the Arduino so also watch that tutorial while in the third part we designed an application which was only sending a command to the Arduino to control a load. Now let's talk about today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is about the two-way communication. This time we will connect a sensor with the Arduino and send its data to the computer application. As I told you that today's tutorial is about the two-way communication so we will also be sending some commands to the Arduino the sensor that I have selected for this tutorial is an LDR which stands for the light dependent resistor like the one you can see on the screen this is an LDR you can use any other sensor as per your requirements as this application that we are going to design today can be used with any sensor that you want so let's start with the components that we will be needing for this project I have already soldered all the components as you can see after showing you all the components then we will make a circuit diagram which will explain the whole project so this is the terminal block this is used for connecting the loads a load maybe can be AC load or a DC load uh, it can be a motor it can be a light bulb it can be like anything so if you don't have this it doesn't matter you can directly solder wires with the relay pins which are normally close normally open and common this is a 12 volt relay of the type SPDT single pole double throw and this small components that you can see is a diode there is a very small silver line on the diode uh, which shows that this side is the cathode side okay and this is an npn transistor which is 2n2222 transistor and this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor so we will need a terminal block a 12 volt relay a diode an npn transistor a 10 kilo ohm resistor and as you can see over here we have an ldr this is an ldr and this is a 10k resistor and of course we will also need arduino you know so and as it's a 12 volt relay so we'll also need a 12 volt adopter so these are our, all the components of course we'll also be needing some connection wires and jumper wires so these are all the components that we'll be needing for this project and uh, so now let's uh, start the circuit designing So this is Arduino. Okay, and this is plus five volt ground pin thirteen and the analog pin A one. So let's make uh, the LDR circuit. LDR is connected in series with a 10K resistor. Other side is connected with plus five volts. We take a wire from the metal and connect this with A1 so the LDR and the 10k resistor makes a voltage divider so when the light falls on the LDR the resistance of the LDR changes so that the value the voltage changes and we, then we read that voltage uh, in Arduino and then send that value to the computer application so this is the basic LDR circuit and I'll just make the relay circuit this is the relay coil the 
this is the normally close and this is the normally open and this one is the common and these two pins are the coil pins then we connect an NPN transistor the emitter side is connected with the ground and the collector side is connected with the relay coil a 10k resistor and the other side is connected with plus 12 volts as it's a 12 volts relay and now any load that we want to control can be connected with the with a common and with a normally open or normally closed so depends okay and so this pin is connected uh, with pin number 13 so So that's the overall circuit and this is 2 and two. NPN transistor, collector, emitter and base. And so this is a relay driver and this is a relay driver circuit. So for the best in training, watch my previous tutorial on the relay driver circuit design calculations in which I performed all the calculations and I uh, also showed uh, I also showed in that video that how to find the normally closed, normally open and common pins of the relay and uh, why we selected this uh, particular transistor and how to select this one. So watch that tutorial and now let's start the Arduino programming and then after that we will make the application okay open the Arduino IDE integer relay equals 13 as relay is connected with pin 13 of the Arduino and this relay can be used to control AC or DC loads so AC or DC loads can be can be connected with this relay okay and as the LDR is connected with a a1 analog pin of the Arduino so integer LDR equal to a1 which is the analog pin so analog pin a1 of the Arduino we will need a variable to store the LDR data so integer LDR data equal to zero and uh, as it's a two-way communication and we will also need to save the character which is coming from the computer so we'll need another variable of the type character character data okay and now each and every Arduino program has at least two functions which are the wide setup and wide loop so wide setup <coughs> and wide loop okay and the wide setup now first of all let's uh, on the serial communication so serial dot begin 9600 and pin mode relay which is an output device so out output and and let's keep the relay off so digital right relay low okay and the LDR so pin mode LDR pin mode LDR is input okay so that's it and over here the white uh, shows that this function is not returning any value and also you can see that the parentheses are empty so this function is not taking any arguments as input now let's make two user defined functions uh, let's call that so if computer basically this is a calling function calling function and t computer 
which is the calling function okay now we will so wide if com from the computer this function which checks whether is uh, our data coming from the computer so if serial dot available greater than zero so it means check if there is data coming from the computer if there is data available on the serial port then what to do data equal to serial dot read read that data and now we will use some conditions so if data is one so now what you do digital write relay as high and if data equal equals two then digital write relay is low okay now another function This will be to computer white t computer since the LDR data to computer application. So this is the uh, variable LDR data equals to analog read LDR and serial dot print line LDR data and let's use a delay of 1000 milliseconds 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 second so let's compile this sorry it's a character single quotes and let's compile let's upload Okay, now connected, which is on COM8, and let's upload the code. Before I start making the program, first uh, I want to check this on the serial monitor. So click this one, and let's see. Yeah, it's reading. And let me see if I can change the value here. Yeah. Right now, I'm finding some light on the LDR, and the value is changing. It's working fine. Okay, now it's ready. So now let's work on the Visual Basic application. So here's the application. This is the same application I used in part three, and which I was only controlling a load, which was one-way communication. So. I would recommend watch all the previous three tutorials that will really help you designing your own application. In this application, as you can see, I made uh, a few changes like I changed the label caption and set it as sending and receiver uh, receiving, which you can change from here. You can write anything over here. 
and the rest of the application is exactly the same as the previous one so if you double click on the form it will open the coding and over here this is the coding of the button which i already covered in the previous tutorial if check on dot value is equal to one then mscom one dot output is equal to one and check on dot caption is equal to on else mscom one dot output equals two and check on the caption off so to make it two-way communication i added uh, this code in the timer so the, let's check the timer you can see its value is set to 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second so it checks every it checks every one second whether it's data coming from the arduino so txt receive dot text which is here this is txt receive dot text you can check its name from here this is a txt receive dot text so the txt receive dot text is equal to clear the text box and txt receive dot text is equal to mscom one dot input so check if there is any data coming from the arduino just take that data and store it in uh, txt receive dot text and txt one dot text equal to and this is txt one dot text this is txt one okay so so any data which is in txt receive dot text just take that and store that in txt one dot text plus txt receive dot text so now let's check this application in action i have already uh, uploaded the program in arduino <clears throat> so now as you can see i have connected uh, the dmm with the relay output which is connected in series so let's play this application And all you can see when I press button, it's on, off, off, and over here. Now over here, just check these values. You can see the value is changed. It updates value every one second. So it's just work fine it's a two-way communication we can control and we can monitor at the same time as you can see <laughs>